Welcome back to Outriders. In this video, I am going to be explaining why legendaries aren't necessarily the best things to get in the game. I've had a couple of people ask me to do this video in the comments. So basically, you can get a lot of purple stuff in this game that is better than the legendaries that are available. The example I'm going to use is this Vagrant 12 Nocturnal Cry Assault Rifle Tactical Variant. If we compare it to my Air to the Desert Legendary, they're both exactly the same variant of an assault rifle. The firepower is 1.7k lower on the purple. The attributes are completely different. So armor pierce might be helpful, but then weapon life leech could be better for survivability. The mod, the top mod at least on a legendary always rolls exactly the same. I don't know if that's the case for the bottom one, but the bottom one I got on this air to the desert was terrible. So I've switched it out for bone shrapnel. If you can get this purple assault rifle to drop from outside of the vendor, you could get bone shrapnel, you could get claymore, you could already get bone shrapnel to drop with this weapon. There are several others that are going to be incredibly helpful. You can roll one of the mods so you could put sandstorm on it if you wanted to, although I would go with something like ultimate storm whip, ultimate bone shrapnel if possible, maybe killing spree, something like that. If we look at the stats, and this is where... I would say it's definitely most important because the clip size is half for the purple, the RPM is 42 lower, the reload is 0.4 seconds lower, but if you look at the crit multiplier, that's 14% higher and the base damage is over a thousand more. Then if you look at the stats underneath, the accuracy is only 9% lower, the stability is 28% higher and the effective range is 7 meters longer. So anything above 35 meters with my air to the desert and the damage drop off is going to kick in and it seems to be very very strong in this game. With the purple it might be a little bit slower to fire, it might have a smaller clip size but the range is longer so up to 42 meters before the damage starts dropping off. What you could do with this if you had the mod available and obviously like if it rolls with bone shrapnel then you take the fireworks mod off and you want to put on ultimate bleeding bullets from the bulwark. Then on a piece of gear, you have Vampiric Mag, and that way when you're shooting, when you get a kill, it's going to regen, like, it's going to replenish half of the mag. So there might not be as many reloads and stuff. There are lots of different ways to build it, but this one comes with Weapon Life Leech. It's a pretty good roll, and just in general, the stats are a lot better. To have over a thousand base damage more, it just goes to show that the legendaries aren't as good as what they seem. They've got the different colour, they're legendary, like you have exotics in some games, but they are, for some part at least, underwhelming in this game. Just the fact that this only has 1.7k lower base firepower, a legendary should be, or realistically, in most games, should be the thing that stands out. The go-to sort of gear and weapons. But there isn't much of a difference between these two weapons, and it actually feels as though the purple might be stronger. I'm not going to pick this one up, because I'm trying to save up to get the bulwark, in case there is a store refresh and I lose that opportunity to just pick it up for drop pod resources. One more quick example I have of gear being... I'm not going to say all over the place, but you have to pay attention to everything in this game when you're playing. If we back out of Tiago. We go into my inventory. I'm pretty sure I still have the gloves on me. I do. I'm going to stash them just so I don't accidentally get rid of them. These two gloves. If you look at the Broodmother gloves, level 44, if I equip those, and I showcased this in the mod video I did previously, 84.1k. If I put these gloves on up here, that are three levels lower, less armor, less firepower, less close range damage, they both share personal space, the only difference is, instead of a Sunder for Earthquake, I have Dum Dum Bullets, which is 10% extra AR damage. So three levels lower, lower armor, lower firepower, equip them, all I'm losing is 1.8k armor. I'm actually gaining, even though the bonus firepower is like 1600 lower, I'm actually gaining 4.8k extra firepower for wearing these gloves that are three levels lower. So my weapon is stronger for equipping these gloves purely based on the mod. The mods play a massive factor in this game. Legendaries aren't necessarily the best thing to run. Even though I have all weapons legendary, I haven't played too much to get some other gear to put on my build. 
And that's why all of the stuff I have is like maxed out on its attributes and stuff and all of the mods are changed. You'll see I've only got 150 titanium. I've actually spent so much titanium raising all the attributes and stuff on this gear, like basically leveling them up and changing all the mods and stuff. I've used a lot of resources in general, titanium as well for leveling all the stuff up and also drop pod resources too. And it turns out that a lot of the gear I don't actually need. I can get better stuff because I could put something else on this chest instead of Earth's Legacy, which I can't do now because I've modded Asher and Boost onto it, but I could have put something different on if I had at least one good mod roll onto this piece of gear, and it would have been a lot better for the build. Your build isn't just based on the base stats you see in the bottom right corner of everything. It's not based on the rarity of the weapons, because there isn't much of an increase or decrease comparing legendaries to purples. So don't find a legendary go, oh yes, I've got a legendary, best thing in the game. Because you could literally get a purple alongside that legendary and it'll blow the legendary out of the water. It'll be so much better. It all depends on the roles and stuff. There's a lot of depth to this game. The systems, mechanics, mods, everything just works so weird. So it's something you need to get used to. Remember, legendaries are not the go-to thing. I think the devs could actually at some point, considering they're putting out patches and everything, they should at some point buff some of this stuff because it is incredibly underwhelming for a legendary rarity to not be much better. It could actually be worse than purple stuff depending on what you find. So that's going to do it for the video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it.